Right? So this is problem number 9 on uh, equilibrium of forces. Here we have to determine tension in different parts of the string shown in figure. And we should also find uh, the value of W1 and W2 if uh, the portion BC is horizontal. Okay. And in cable CD, there is a force of 100 Newton acting. Okay. Now, what we, what we can do is we can identify a joint uh, first. How to identify the joint? We have to select the joint in such a way that there should not be more than two unknowns there should not be more than two unknowns therefore if you select joint b now if you select joint b force in member ba is unknown force in member bc is unknown then w1 is unknown so at joint b there are three unknown forces therefore joint b cannot be selected therefore if you select joint c force in member bc is unknown w2 is unknown only two unknowns are there and force in member cd is known it is 100 newton okay therefore we will select joint c first so before that we, we will find the angles at uh, both joints and joints b and c so angle here is 90 degree because BC is horizontal. In the problem, it is said that BC is horizontal and W2 is purely vertical. So, angle is 90 degree. So, the remaining angle here will be how much? 360 minus 135 minus 90. Okay. 360 minus 135 minus 90. How much it will come? Let me calculate. 360 minus 135 minus 90. 135. That angle is also 135. So, on this side, angle is 90. So, the remaining angle on the other side is 360 minus 120 minus 90. 360 minus 120 minus 90. 150 degree. 150 degrees. 150 degree. Now select joint C. Joint C. I will let the figure of joint C alone. So force in member CD is 100 Newton. 100 Newton. And here we have unknown force of W2. So here we have unknown force of TBC. TBC angles are here 90, 135, and 135. Correct. Now apply the sign rule. Applying sign rule. Applying sign rule or oh, sorry applying Lamy's theorem Lamy's theorem TBC divided by for member BC 135 degrees uh, opposite angle sin 135 is equal to 100 divided by sin 90 is equal to W2 divided by sin 135. So, we considering first and the second equation. TBC is equal to 100 sin 135 divided by sin 90. By this, we will get uh, force in member BC. Force in member BC that you get is 70.71 uh, Newton. 70.71 Newton. Okay. Similarly, if you take uh, second and the third equation, W2 is equal to 100 sin 35 divided by sin into same equation you will get. Therefore, W2 will be the same answer. 
70.71 newton 70.71 newton now we got force in member bc and w2 correct we will write those forces 70.71 newton 70.71 newton now you can select joint b right at joint b only two unknowns now force in member ba and w1 force in member bc already we have determined that is 70.71 newton now consider joint b joint b consider joint b i will write the figure of joint b alone this is w1 here tbc is equal to 70.71 newton and tba tba angles are 90 here and this side it is 150 and 120 150 and 120 now applying Lamy's theorem TBA divided by sin 90 is equal to 70.71 divided by or 70.71 force 150 is the opposite angle sin 150 is equal to W1 divided by for W1, 120 is the opposite angle, sin 120. Now consider first and the second equation, you will get TBA, therefore TBA is equal to 70.71 sin 90 divided by sin 150. For this answer is TBA is equal to 141.42 Newton 141.42 Newton and considering second and the third equation you will get the W1 which is equal to 70.71 sin 120 divided by sin 150 by this the value of W1 is equal to 122.47 Newton so to this uh, we have uh, uh, determined W1, W2, okay, force in B, A, B, C and the C, D. Let me write the forces. T, B, A, how much we got? 141.42. 141.42 Newton. And W1 we got it as 122.47. 122.47. Okay, so to this, uh, uh, the problem is completed. Thank you.